Uh, today I have, as you can see here, uh, the Sideshow Hellboy Golden Army uh, Premium Format Figure. Now I actually used to own this statue a long time ago. I ended up selling it uh, just for uh, financial reason. But uh, with things a little bit better and having a better job, I decided I wanted to get it back in the collection. So I've gone ahead and purchased it again. Sometimes when you're collecting, you gotta sell stuff you don't really want to just because of finances. But then when things are a little bit more stable, you can rebuy it. So, needless to say, Hellboy is a welcome addition back into the collection. I have a perfect spot for him. Now this is brand spanking new, the exclusive. It's got a killer deal. I've been watching this for actually quite some time, waiting for that good deal. And sometimes you really just got to be patient when you're buying statues. You know, if a good deal comes along, you definitely want to jump on it and not wake, because then it will sell out and then you'll regret it. But sometimes you just got to wait. I've been eyeballing Hellboy for honestly probably eight months. And, you know, the price on eBay was going for about $550, which I was just not going to pay. And so I waited and waited. Someone posted them up, messaged them, got a great deal. I like this particular statue for a lot of reasons. It has a very unique look, base, pose, perfect likeness, great detail, good mixed media. Now, overall, it's just a fantastic statue. So I'm definitely happy to get it back in the collection, especially. I am warrior. So uh, I should be getting multiple statues this week, especially on Wednesday. So be sure to watch out on my channel for that. We'll see many statues coming, many reviews. So he simply goes in like this. And it's a mixed media like cape, so you can adjust it. Just has a few styrofoam on it. Need to play with it a little to make it look good. You always gotta play with the mixed media, especially when it travels. So there's that. And then uh so, so in addition to the body, he has an arm uh, for the exclusive he has his I am a warrior. master gun so i'll just put the tail on Like so, and of course, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for displaying exclusives, and this ex particular exclusive I do like more. I just think it looks better. <clears throat> so, here's the exclusive. That's the big gun he used. Uh, I am a warrior! The regular is just a regular, like, pistol. I think it's called, like, the big baby, the exclusive. I'm not sure. I I'm going to rewatch the movie tonight. It's been a while. So, I'm going to... Uh, after this unboxing, I'm going to go to the gym, get an awesome workout, and then uh, watch Hellboy 1 and 2. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to mess with the mixed media a little bit and uh, get him up in the statue room. I know I'll see how he looks. Now I am going to display him on the bottom shelf just because the other statues I have look much better up high and he looks all right down though although I think mid shelf or even higher up would technically look better but you know sometimes you just got to put statues on the, the bottom shelf even if you don't want to. I messed with this mixed media and I found this was the look I liked best so I curled this back 
flap this open so you can see the inner part of his chest right there and that little design. Folded it over the leg, straightened that out a little bit, pulled that one back to show off his legs. Now I'm going to have him angled just like this. So I got both the Hellboy 1 and 2 movies. I got a poster on its way. And this is how I'm going to display him. Let me show you guys from a distance and we can get up close better. So when you first enter my statue room, he's going to go right there. So this whole section of my statue room is more or less just variety of movies. It's not really themed per se, just a variety of movies. You know, so it's like, I mean, this was a little bit Greek themed, you could say. Terminator, Aliens... I did get my Ghost in the Shell poster just now, and that looks great. Geisha's on her way. I should get her hopefully this week. So here it is. This is uh, almost done, really. I just need the endoskeleton by Sideshow, which is shipping within the next five months to go right there. And I'm not 100% sure on Gerard Butler yet. I may end up selling him and putting something else there. Still not sold. I'll wait and see. But Hellboy is definitely a welcome addition. He's a pretty big statue. Uh, let's get closer and look at him. So he stands about 22 inches tall. Good, decent weight. You know, it's not a light resin by any means. Uh, it's fully mixed media and it's high quality. You know, like this, uh, this right here. Uh, I'm not sure what the material is. This almost feels like leather. Just angle at that. You know, he has like little keychains hanging, a little cross. You know, let me show you up close so you can see that. These look like little skulls. Super cool looking, actually. There is his hand of doom. As you can see, is pounding into the base. This looks like one of the columns from the second Hellboy movie. And there's the gun. Has some battle damage to it. His chest, you know, his, and his skin. It's definitely a really great statue. It has a lot of great mixed media <clears throat> incorporated with the sculpt. You know, it looks very realistic, I would say. The likeness is spot on. Go ahead and move it back to how I like. Just like so. You know, I have it just angled like that because of the way I have it in the room. I think it looks perfect. Let's get up close on the face. Focus there. There you can see it. You now he's looking more or less this direction. A little smirk in his face. No. There's his tail coming out. Let me show you the statue from behind now. So his tail more or less just comes out underneath, you know, like, let me just adjust it one more time. Let me show you guys the underneath, because it actually does have a lot of detail in there, as you can see. You know, with his belt buckle and everything. It's not like Sideshow really, you know, uh, you know went uh, cheap on you. They really did make this, you know, like, just like Hellboy. You know, of all the Hellboy statues I've seen... This is the one I like the most, for sure. Uh, you know, I just like the the pose, the base. I just think it looks excellent. So, overall, it's a great statue. If you're a fan of the movies and the character, this is the Hellboy to own, in my opinion. I definitely like that exclusive. You know, just the bigger gun. And that gun was like a, you know, real special in the movie. So, it's definitely a must-have for me. So, uh, in case you're wondering, you know, I picked this up for, God, how much did I pay? 400 bucks shipped. <clears throat> so, I mean, I saw averaging 550 on eBay for a damaged one. So, when I saw 400, jumped right on it. So, if you can get it for that price, which is a very good, you know, uh, price for a statue these days, uh, you know, I would pick this up. Definitely awesome statue. Welcome edition. Just need the poster to be displayed behind because you all know I love having a poster with the movie display. I think that just looks classy and looks great.
So there's Hellboy. I mean, if I was to rate this out of 10, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. This is an old school sideshow classic. You know, this has great mixed media, great sculpt, great paint. It's just an awesome statue. You can't go wrong with this. I mean, as long as you like the character, you, you should get this statue. So let me talk about some of the future statues coming this week. And I'll let you guys guess on what I'm getting. So, as y'all know, I'm collecting the Iron Studio Civil War line. There's no members of Team Captain yet. This Wednesday, that will change. Two members will be joining the collection. So that's two things I will be getting. I'm sure you all can guess what is coming here. Something big and glorious. So that will be coming. In case you're all wondering about that Matrix Studio box you saw out there, uh, that was supposed to be for Shockwave. Unfortunately, he did arrive damaged. I'm working with Matrix Studio on a replacement. They're being very difficult to work with, and I may not end up getting it. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Unfortunately, you know, with these companies that aren't as, you know, legitimate and professional sideshow replacements are very hard to come by. So, I mean, it's been well over a month and the communication and just experience is very lackluster and had me very disappointed with them. So I do have one other surprise secret I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, this is going to be something I just made a, a decision on. Previously, I was going to get the Dark Knight Joker and display him above this. I've decided to change and get something else. Sure y'all can guess what's going to go here. That Superman poster there is just temporary until I get the full-sized 40 by 27. But yes, I am getting the Prime 1 Superman Man of Steel half-scale statue. I realize that I actually like Superman more than Joker. He's in multiple movie. He has more meaning to me. And so I'm getting the half-scale Superman. He's going to go right here in my living room, so when I'm watching TV, I'll have Superman over there. I'm also contemplating getting uh, Iron Man half-scale to go over there. Just move the TV a little to the right, move the speakers closer, and I'd put an Iron Man half-scale there to have the two representations of DC and Marvel next to my TV. So I would have Superman, which to me represents DC, Iron Man, which represents Marvel, all right there. And then, of course, I got my half-scale endoskeleton there. So, you know, the, those would be the three legendary-scale, half-scale figures I would have in my collection. So, yes, this box is the Matrix Studios Shockwave. It arrived 100% just destroyed and damaged, super disappointed. Uh, we'll see on how that goes. If I don't get a replacement, I'm just not going to get Shockwave, which would be unfortunate because I really wanted them. Hope y'all enjoyed this video review and talking about some of the future statues I'm getting. I do have a few other surprises I'll show you guys soon. This is going to be a big, big month, so definitely stay tuned and watch out for the future statues, unboxing, and reviews. Like, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a great day.